Hello fellow explorers, we are Martin, Sharon and Taylor, better known as Sailing Trinity, an Irish Aussie family who dared to escape the ordinary. We abandoned jobs, university and the mundane, selling everything we own to chase a life of freedom aboard Trinity, our Genoa Sun Odyssey 50DS. Welcome to our five-part cleaning, organisation and fixing series where you'll witness the finalisation of our winter chapter before we jump into our epic season 2 Greek Odyssey around the islands in Asia. Days. Now, listen closely, for in the heart of winter's chill, a sombre tale unfolded. The icy grasp of the season has drained life from many vessels. In rebuttal, today, Trinity's crew embark on a quest to seek that which winter has killed and to breathe life back into those parts of their cherished vessel. As the promise of spring beckons, will their efforts bear fruit? Join us this episode to find out. Don't miss a chance to support us by liking and subscribing. Your encouragement keeps the channel and crew going strong and feel free to share your thoughts in the comments we cherish connecting with y'all without further ado let's dive right in and escape the ordinary together Okay, so after we cleaned and brightened the deck, done it a couple of times now, we need to seal it. You can use the teak oil or whatever else, uh, products like that, but we were recommended to use this product called Semco, which is a, a water-based sealer. We bought it in Ionian Marine. We're going to apply that. We're going to use rags instead of paint brushes or anything like that. So it's recommended to use rags and we're going to try and give it two coats. It dries very quickly, 10 minutes usually. We've got full sun today, so work quickly. Obviously, you don't want it drying and leaving this patch marks where it's dried and then it's wet again and dried and wet again. So myself and Sharon are going to take a side each of the boat and do our best to quickly work our way down. Okay, so let's get into it. smells kind of good in a bad way like petrol <laughs> or like bluing from a pen like maybe I shouldn't inhale it but I will yeah but I think she probably needs it she probably do the tall rail as well should we? so will I do the tall rails while you're doing the bigger pieces oh you've got the Teletubby baby <laughs> with the sun hello <laughs> to leave into it for a while Look at that difference. I mean, this is quite grey. I mean, she's still gorgeous after she was cleaned. Are you finding that easy enough? Yes, it's not too difficult. That's good. Cinderella. The first coat, anyway. It's turning out okay. <laughs> Great uh, that we had so many spare rags from Marina Direcchi. Yeah. We had loads of old cut up fender socks and things. Well, it's actually a cotton t shirt. Ah, okay. Yeah, you know, because the fender socks, um, they, they're they quite bally. They're like yeah. a microfiber cloth. They'd pile a lot. They, they'd pile. Keep never your have old, enough rags. Never have enough rags. Teak decking is renowned for its strength, durability, and timeless beauty, making it a prized feature on many boats. However, over time, exposure to the elements can cause teak decks to lose their luster and become weathered. That's where Semco deck sealant comes. 
comes in handy. Semco offers unparalleled protection for teak decks. Thanks to its advanced chemical properties designed to penetrate deep into the wood, Semco forms a protective barrier against moisture, UV rays, and other environmental stresses. Unlike traditional varnishes or sealants, this unique formula ensures a long-lasting durability and enhances the natural beauty of the teak without the need for sanding between coats. With Semco, applying and maintaining your teak deck is a breeze, offering convenience and superior protection for years to come. This is the second person that we don't know in about 10 minutes who has complimented the deck. Obviously doing well, you can hear them. We just spoke to a, a lovely woman who has a, a Juno as well, a lovely 46, who's in the marina and she was just inquiring about what products we're using. So, okay, Trinity's sexy deck envy. Anyone have deck envy? <laughs> Danger bonding, we're bonding with new people. It's so cool, like we would just walk by like, nice boat, it's okay. Nice shoes or something. He does have nice shoes actually. <laughs> Trinity's getting a bit famous these days. Hi. <laughs> Making lots of new friends then. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens. Traction starts to build. Yeah, she looks good. Can you imagine when we put the Sailing Trinity YouTube on the boom? Waiting for her thoughts. Very busy as well. I mean, the coffee shop is teeming yeah. with people. So many new people. That water is sparkling. So stunning. No test failed, obliterated. Getting a bit head spinny from inhaling that. <laughs> it's Beautiful blue sky. Casualty number one or a splinter? Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. So just finished the first coat of scent coat and we're pretty happy with it, aren't we? Yep, it's pretty good. It's given some really good coverage. It took longer than expected, but it does go on fairly easily with the cloth. And that's how we were recommended by Semco themselves rather than a brush or a sponge or anything like that. Quite a watery consistency, so it goes on. I think it took us about an hour, maybe a little bit more to do the boat top to bottom. But we're going on to do the second coat now. And you're looking, darken it up. And you're looking forward to I'm looking forward to the second coat. I'm looking forward, forward to see what she looks like. <laughs> looking forward to being finished. It's really looking good. We're really happy with it. Talk to you later, guys. See ya. Shake brand new. It does. Wow. Are you happy? Very happy. Very sweating as well. <laughs> not so much. No. In the companion way. It's gorgeous. Pontoon deck. Next to ours. Hmm? You can see what a good job it's done. Especially in the cockpit, because the cockpit hasn't been as weathered as obviously outside. So even when they when they sanded it last year, like there was a big difference. But yeah, look at that. Really super, super happy with it. You can see there's a bit of a contrast from the cockpit. But overall, I'm a happy camper. Happy boater, I should say. Not a camper. Cushions are here. No way. <laughs> Great timing. <laughs> Giraffos has our outdoor furniture. Gonna have to help him bring that in. <laughs> oh, what brilliant timing. I'm so glad they're ready. He said maybe Friday or maybe Saturday, which usually means probably not right now. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yay. <laughs> oh, look at this. Beautiful trim and everything. Oh, it's from the same people that did our indoor couches and everything and upgraded all of our cushions. And they have zips too. 
or reinforced slips new straps. They feel nice and comfy. Oh, how exciting! We're gonna be it's sitting out here soon. Going to throw some down like we the bedroom. Yep. <gasps> Mass mattresses too. Oh my gosh. So many. Thank you. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is making me so excited for the season. Oh, I can't wait to sit on the deck. Very nice and clean. It's heating up. It's hot today. Excited. Everyone's starting to leave. It's Saturday. Everybody's kind of leaving today, tomorrow, Monday. You know, it's all happening. There's less and less boats in here and more and more out in the Gulf. And that's going to be us soon. It's very, very exciting. New day bed as well. It's got like a, a pillow on it. Ah, for the captain taking a break. It looks comfy. No, it's not fun. It's only for the women. Only okay. for us. Yes, to relax, he's not allowed. Very big. Very big. Looks very comfy. Very awesome. Of course, of yeah, course, of course. Yeah. Oh. I'll get some uh, money for you now. Hold on. Bye. Thank you. Okay. I hate to see him leave. Love to watch him walk away. I feel like I gotta go and uh, test out that new <laughs> coach deck lounge. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> back on it. See the back on it? Oh, beautiful. The stitching is lovely. It's great work. It's special stuff on the back of it. Okay, to stop it slipping? Yeah. yeah. Right, feeling test. Oof. Okay. These are filthy and we need them to strap the day bed to the coach deck. So I think we're actually gonna leave it for now. Get these bleached first. They're gonna need bleach or something it's very strong. Clean them up, there's loads of growth on them. They came with the boat, so they're presumably 15 years old. <laughs> so I have to give them a cheeky bleach and then we'll attach them and then we'll test out the day bed and have a final verdict on the work. In regards to the day bed we received yesterday that we were going to put up and try but the straps are all filthy the straps in question have been in a bucket of bleachy water mix concoction so i'm going to check check them out give them a rinse down hopefully there's been some difference in the staining and we can pop them up and then actually test out the day bed and see it there catch a glimpse but let's do it All right, so I just gave them a rinse down and laid them out on the pontoon to dry. I'm not extremely happy with them. You can see where the bleach has worked well. It has lightened the straps in some areas in comparison to the previous dirty color, which you can still see on half the straps. And the mold still seems to be immovable at the moment. So we might have to go for some more desperate measures <laughs> or we might have to buy some new straps. I think for now they'll do the trick, but it'd be such a shame to like have half the setup really nice and half of it a bit dirty and old and they're a bit frayed and quite sun damaged i don't know i'm not I'm not super pleased but it's nothing major at the end of the day it's not a safety issue or anything like that so we'll just see how we go So another job that I wanted to do was the boom has uh, glue marks, sticky marks from that old you know, boat name. There's a big vinyl sticker on there and we couldn't get them off before. We also have these, the same that glue residue uh, around the vinyl lettering of the boat as well. And uh, you know, I tried many different products, hair dryers and everything, it's just not working. I was doing a bit of a search on YouTube and I found that if you use gasoline, or petrol, then I tried it on the port side boom and it worked a treat so i'm going to do it on the starboard side now and give you a look as well it's a great tip if you have any sticker mark residue left behind 
on anything specifically that's outdoors, right? You don't want to be doing this indoors, to be honest with the fumes. Petrol is, is a killer, I think. So let me go and show you what I'm doing. So I'm just dipping an old rag into the fuel tank for the dinghy, the fuel reserve tank for the dinghy. Pop the lid back. Safety reason. I don't know if you can see that one. There's the old sticky sticker mark. So I'm just gonna put the bit loose. I'm just gonna soak the sticker first. You can see it coming off already, look. So good, so effective. Soak the whole thing first. Did you get a Duolingo subscription? <laughs> We've tried literally everything before. Nothing was effective. Even these glue off products. This is your man right here. No expensive glue removers. It's an old cloth and some petrol. And this is something I know I've spoken to other sailors that have bought new boats and they've changed the registration. They've removed the lettering and they're worried about leaving marks behind. If there's anybody out there that needs to remove, can't recommend this enough. I mean, there we go. It's literally a couple of minutes. Bit of elbow grease. The job's good. Right, boats. Well, outdoors. Just stinking a bit of petrol and uh, vinegar. Uh, vinegar, again, brilliant solution for cleaning all that black mold that we have. Made some new um, stickers for our clutches. Basically what help us uh, lock in our lines for our sails and our running rig and our boom and all that type of thing. So we have some in stickers on those just to indicate what the lines they wear, just for quick access, quick quick reference. They faded, they weren't UV resistant, they were just, you know, stickers. Uh, so I've ordered some new ones which are UV uh, resistant, waiting for those to come. I've just removed the old ones, just with a knife, and I used the petrol technique again, and they came up really clean, so that's really good. I'll just show you. So you can see how clean they are now, ready for the new stickers and on the port side. So that's it. So we're out of here again, doing a few, a few more little odd jobs. Uh, one of the things that's been really bothering me, uh, the hatches have a lot of superficial scratches on them. I don't know if it's down to the acid that was used when cleaning the deck and things like that, but they sort of, they do bother me, especially when I wake up in the morning and look up and I can see all these little scratches everywhere. So I bought some acrylic scratch removing cream. It's a quick plastic polish. And it seems like a fairly straightforward job. Put some cream on, put the elbow grease, circular motions for a couple of minutes. And uh, allegedly that smooths out any of the sort of minor scratches. And nothing too deep, so get out the minor scratches and we'll give it a go anyway and see what happens. There's a ton of them. But I'll definitely try and get them out. You can see them from below. This is what happens when you try and put on rubber gloves that are too small for you. So it's quite hard to, to see on these, especially with the current lighting. It looks a lot better already, but I, I really don't know. Now it's, are they coming out? Are those minor sort of scratches coming out? So far, it looks like it's working. It's hard to know. This one was quite badly scratched. Mm. So when I finish rubbing it down, now you have to give it a bit of time. When I finish rubbing this one down okay. and I wipe it down with the water, well, uh, I'll have a better idea. But it is looking like it's having some effect, to be honest. It's just like a rubbing compound. So 
unusual that it's not working. No, actually, I bought products over the years that say they do things that I say that don't work. <laughs> so it's, they're always taking a risk. There are other ways, more aggressive ways, you can use wet and dry sandpaper. That's a very long task. I might have, have to resort to it, to be honest. They are pretty banged up. Yeah, I also sent a, I bought some um, polishing discs that fit on the top of my drill, but I've got to wait a couple of weeks for those to come. So I said I'd give it a go by hand first to see what the results were like. In step four, we uh, put some Vaseline on the rubbers just to rehydrate them. And then we move on to the next window. Which is an advanced status, a lot of Vaseline on your phone. From me, touching it with my Vaseline fingers. There's my doggy. Ciao! Frankie is actually a lovely angel, Allison, who lives here. We started a money collection to get them fed when we're gone because we've all been feeding them and looking after them during winter. There's two of them, Booby and Frankie. They're just the most beautiful little doggies and as you know, everywhere I go, I have to adopt a dog. So, so that's really sweet. So they'll be well fed and looked after. If you're ever in Provesi Marina, they're very friendly. Say hello, give them a rub. <laughs> Holy troll, how many wives does the troll have? Limpia's queen, right? Nueva, is this from Spain? Through dad's bin diving, we've come into possession of Spanish Windex. Spanish Windex. And now we're recycling. Recycling is true. And now we're going to use it on our Greek windows. That was another massive day of work done. You can see the boat is in an absolute proper state in a jocka, if you will. It's gonna be like this for the next couple of days. We're all coping in different ways with the mess. Everything feels clean. It's kind of weird. Like you wouldn't expect it. It's just windows, but it feels clean. I mean, check out the view. Lovely, jolly, nice and clean and fresh. All in all, we're just really glad that we're making progress finally because the month is soon coming to an end and so is our stay in the wonderful Professor Marina. We will still be around this area for the coming weeks, the month, before we start our huge season two. We get closer. <laughs> season two in May. And there'll be the trailer for that soon for a surprise. Secret. It's so secret in fact that I'm telling all of you about it right now. <laughs> um, we're doing some cleaning. It's actually really nice. Teamwork vibe. Productive, it's rewarding and especially when it's our own vessel. Um, we're going to be taking her out like I'm preparing her for voyage and for adventure. I'm going to tidy up the rest of this unfortunate mess. Just going to push it to the side and organize mess, a clean mess. But we're done. We're done for the day. We got a lot done. Very proud, very happy. Hope you guys enjoyed another wonderful Cleaning episode of Sailing Trinity, Cleaning Trinity. There we go, pattern to that. Yeah, I'm gonna head off now. Thank you all for being such a wonderful audience as always. And we'll see you here next week. Ciao! With life restored to our decking, cushions, windows, straps, and boom, we'll add a resurrection to our skill list on our steadily building resumes. And with an organized mess underway, it would only be fair to revisit it next week to remove that mess from the equation with our first organization episode to come. Well, that's all we have for you this week, folks. Tune in next week as the saga of our final winter chapter continues, and we all get one step closer to our much-awaited season two around the islands in 80 days are you ready we can't wait to escape the ordinary with you see you there guys